had to start something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Thumb. From today, we are at war. Hey guys, this is John TM back in the video. Let's try to meet up with Salieri. It's so hard for me to say that name. It's like a tiny name and I'm not even sure. I'm not sure how to say that name actually. Salieri. That's, that's how I say it though. Anyway. I was not able to find the place but then I figured it out later. Is it true that Don slipped Carla the bump? Not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson, Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. It's like the building designs are so primitive. It's not the way that we have houses these days or buildings. Hard guys in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Galati's done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. Yeah, this guy doesn't really... Now I'm definitely sure he doesn't care about his guys because... This is probably like a death trap. You're going on a boat and there's no escape plan. It's just about taking out the guy after that. They will figure out the rest. That's what he told them. So it's like he doesn't care if this guy goes out or not. It's a bad thing. Tommy, you can't at least see what's coming to you. I'm trying to check uh, which car is a little bit faster. I don't like any of the cars though. I did get some free codes for the game as well once I bought it, but I haven't really used up the codes. I just want to play through the game without the codes, then after that I'll check out the codes as well. If I want to or not. So with the free codes I think there was a car coming in as well. So I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to complete the story first, then after that we can check out the other things as well. Oh, that car was just about to hit me. Oh, 
I like the drifting part if you get it right. But most of the time, it's <laughs> that car just disappeared into thin air. We're just about there. So we had to move for the... <laughs> I was waiting for something to happen because the uh, objective marker did not really change. Attention folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. Alright, we gotta have a ticket there because I don't really have it. Gulati always throws the swellest parties. Staff only. Guest wait in line. Fuck where you going. I gotta uh, find Sam, I guess. Yeah, I can't really stay in the line there. Without a ticket, there's no point. Yeah, that's a nice looking lady there. Anyway, let's try to find Sam. He must be around here somewhere. Clubhouse. I like to own that kind of a clubhouse in this game. Once I get rich enough. Family in the city. All right. No doubt in my mind. Who's done? All right, this is some kind of an invitation. Is this a ticket as well? No, it's just. I think this is just an invitation, not a ticket. Oh, this is the invitation. Okay. So why didn't you pick it? I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Yeah, you gotta find a sailor so that I have to work there as well. Why can't I just get a ticket like a regular person there? Anyway. You gotta make sure that I look bad. Low class. At least I got an extra cigarette card. I'm not even sure what they do once you complete it. Maybe you get a trophy, that's it. I don't care about the trophies though. There you go, we got the cutscene. Let's not change the clothes. <laughs> yeah, he's really dramatic. He he has a flush thing as well so that people notice that and thing with the hand is like really top notch. This guy was made for the crime world. I know you'd get a real job someday. <laughs> so remember, play it cool. Sammy's funny. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, you find the gun. The janitor. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, you find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. And of course, sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech to pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. But getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Oh, so these guys are not really confident on this one as well. I told you, I, this is what I thought as well, that this job is really difficult. It's like they're putting him right into the danger spot. Anyway, we gotta do what we gotta do.
Hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Alright, so basically we are trying to find the gun and that we can use yeah it's the same invitation schedule alright this place is blocked off so we don't really have to go down <laughs> right on the stage and nobody tells me anything this guy runs so slow don't I know you from some place? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Yeah, who cares about you? Listen, shit, mate, go someplace else. Alright. I think I got him in trouble. Well, this is an awesome scene though. On the water and everything. Really relaxing if we didn't really have to pull off the job, I'd enjoy this. Uh, some kind of red letter. Who cares about that? You can pause and read it if you want to. Yeah, people keep on talking there and I can't really find the place where we have to go. It's probably downstairs. What? You think you're something you're not? Why does everybody have to be rude? Maybe it's because of the outfit that I'm wearing. Yeah, this place blocks, so definitely this place. Where we have to go. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Alright, that's the place where we have to go. I I need to stop checking these scheduled letters. I tend to think it's gonna be something like a magazine or a cigarette card or anything like that, but it turns out it's just that invitation thing coming up again and again. Alright, this is the place. Took your time. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name? Right, again, we got the key. And you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, uh, I get that. He's probably not even gonna remember it because he's too drunk to remember anything. But anyway, that was a good thing Tommy did. Just warned this guy. Now this is not the. Uh, has to be some other one. Yeah, probably this one. Yep. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Can't run! Now, what was the problem with this guy? Come on, man. I'm just trying to do an honest day of work. Like a job. As a sailor. Sometimes you have different objectives, you know. Come on. Where the fuck are you? Well, this is a dirty place to look for weapons. I remember this kind of mission in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. And the washroom was really dirty. And you can actually see the business people had done. That was bad. 
Right, you have to get to the vantage point. I'm just gonna throw this guy here on the side. Nobody figures what happened. Just be on the safe side. Otherwise, I think the game is too stupid to realize what's happening. Captain is coming in the way. There you go, well, let's try to snipe this guy or whatever. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me. Huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. I'm not going to wait around to listen to what he has to say. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, let's hey, try to get a good shot, headshot, <laughs> take him out. Oh, we have to wait for the fireworks first. I don't think I have to wait, but Three let's just ago, wait. Yeah, because we need to get the signal. An innocent bomb those guys in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Yeah, honestly, this sounds like a decent guy. But orders are orders, I suppose. For one nice clean shot. Right now, for the difficult part, we have to try and escape. Got one guy. On, this is the second one. Can't really see anything. Get Go. I think this is a better location. Oh god, down. And we're just about out of wall. Somebody with the Tommy gun there. Not able to figure out where he is. It's like too dark. Have to get a little bit closer, I think. There you go, we got that guy. Now we have to go down, I think. Yeah, let's uh, get the Tommy again. That's gonna be useful. Yeah, this is the thing that we needed. still alive. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a bad place for somebody to, to be sitting there. <laughs> This guy's not dying. Just about time. I'm actually more comfortable using the regular weapon like the pistol instead of Tommy gun. Because these kind of headshots that you can get. Still have the same cover. There are the guys. Nice couple of headshots there. There you go, I got the guy. 